Hi and welcome to a new episode of my channel. Today I'm gonna go through the beta flight settings I use for my GPRC Signet CX3 uh, micro quad. I'm just gonna go through all the pages and show you all the details I set up and what you have to be careful about. So let's jump right into beta flight and go through the pages. So first we have to connect the quad to the computer uh, with the micro USB connector. Then we have to hit connect and then we can start with all the pages. So first let's go to ports. On ports just make sure that you have UART 6 which is uh, for serial RX activated. So that uh, is going to make sure that your uh, RC receiver will work on your uh, GP RC stack. Then that's all for ports. Then let's jump right into configuration. There's a little bit more what you can do. So I choose DSHOT 600 um, for uh, motor protocol. And uh, what I did is reverse the motor direction or prop direction. Uh, just to avoid to hit dirt into the camera that's not necessary for sure you can do it this is your choice if you want a regular uh, motor direction or inverted direction this can be changed with this uh, button here motor direction is reversed now in my case but this is not uh, a must you can do it if you like to then I had to uh, I did change the kilohertz both uh, settings pit loop and gyro update frequency on 8 kilohertz that works pretty fine for me all the rest is stock then really important for your receiver that you choose your right receiver in my is uh, sbus receiver it's a rxsr from fr sky and you have to choose sbus uh, that this will work fine then on the other features table I just activated air mode so I have permanently air mode enabled then anti-gravity uh, filter and dynamic filter both are activated that just helps you to give you a little bit better flying quad if I don't go through the details you can try it out like I did or do something else just this is what uh, I use and what works for me. People configuration, I just uh, keep it like it's uh, uh, stock. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, GPRC stable stack does not support uh, the beacon configuration. That means you can use your motors for beeping instead of a uh, real beeper. But um, with you with the uh, GPRC stable stack, you really have to use a separate beeper because uh, the the stack doesn't support um, the motor beeper. So that's you don't need to touch this. That doesn't work. I tried it out, but there's no beep from the motors. What also can be that the motors are too uh, not loud enough, anyways, because of these small motors. I don't know. But um, I installed the beeper and if you buy the Bind and Fly version you have the beeper already installed anyways. So just use the beeper as it comes with the quad and it's okay if you need to find your quad in the field if you crashed. And that's already all for configuration, everything else is stuck. Then let's jump on power on battery, I do nothing at all, everything stuck. Uh, then let's jump into pit tuning. Pit tuning is also almost completely stock. I just add some expo for uh, roll and pitch axis. Uh, your I leave like it is. Also for RC expo and everything else. Almost everything else is stock. What I do is TPA. I correct it from 0, 01 I think is stock to 0, 02.5 um, which helps you a little bit at tire throttle to relax your pits and this is just uh, 
also a little helpful thing to make your quad fly a little bit smoother or stable, more stable uh, on high throttle positions. Then we also ride through uh, for pit tuning, then let's go to receiver. So to check if everything works, we have to connect the quad um, to a power, to the battery, to flight battery. And that's what we do right now. And we also have to power up the radio. So here we go. And what you have to do here is make sure that everything moves in the right direction. So let's go through the sticks. Um, we have roll. Uh, when you go to the right, roll has the roll bar has moved to the right. When you go to the left, bar has moved to the right. Pitch, if you pull down, has to go to the left. Pull, push up, has to go to the right. Yaw, if you pull to the left, it has to go to the left. If you pull to the right, it has to go to the right. And throttle, if you pull down from center, it has to go to left. If you pull up from center, it has to go to the right. What also is important that you uh, choose your center stick position, your sub trim that you have uh, always at around 1500, not more, not less, but 1500. And the end positions always have to be at least uh, on the left side 1000 or less, and at the right side 2000 or a little bit more. You have to make sure that this is for all axes. On your we have 1000, we have 2001. On pitch we have 998 and 2004. And on roll we have 998 and 2000 on the right. Like this you're sure that everything works like it should. You have to adjust your endpoints, your servo endpoints on your radio if this is not um, where it should go. Or the center, you have to do the sub trim until uh, the center is really at around 1500. I use the Jumper T8SG Plus uh, version 2.0 and as you can see there's a little bit of movement also when I don't touch the, the sticks. And in this case, what's important for me, uh, RC that band, what you can see here um, on the right, uh, I always put some RC dead band in just because of these little movements if you do not touch the sticks at center position because if you have it on zero all these movements you can see here are inputs into the flight controller over your ESCs to your motors and your quote won't be fly smooth around center stick position so this is important to put in if you can uh, see movements without any stick movement from yourself. All the other settings are stock here so nothing else to change that this works. Then we're on uh, the modes so what I did here is just to configure AUX1 to arm the quad and I also did the beeper configuration and when I hit the beeper, there goes the beeper. And that's all what I did on, on uh, modes. I don't have any turtle mode or something else. Just arm and beeper. I just want to keep it simple. That's all what I need. And yeah, all the other um, pages, are there's nothing to do. Motor is just to test your motors and black box and CLI I don't touch also. So that's already all of the configuration of beta flight. That's already it for today. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumb up if you like it and as always happy flying. Bye bye.